Hi everyone, it's Miss Samuels back again and we're talking about another lot of new subjects that you might not have experienced yet but that we have on offer at Oaks College. And if you want to find out any more information after today, you can come and see myself or Mr. Marzawi or come along to our open evening or have a look on our website where there's lots of information. But you're very lucky today because we've got four students here that are going to share their experience of these new subjects. So we've got Ella. Ella, what do you study at the moment? So I study law, drama and media. Fantastic. We learned about law last week. So from you today, we're going to find out about media, if that's OK. Orlando. So I take product design, media and art. Fantastic. You're our product design specialist today. Jake, what do you study? Uh, so I do media, film and photography. And photography. Cool. You're going to be talking to us about film. And Izzy's got four subjects that she does at the moment. Um, I study media, photography, biology and psychology. Fantastic. So um, I'm sure Izzy can help us with lots of those different subjects that we've got that are new on here, but she's going to be specialising in, in photography today and, and telling us a little bit more about that. So let's start off with um, photography, which uh, is it just Jake and Izzy does it? Do you, Orlando, do you do art? Is that right? You don't do photography? Yeah, I do art. So Jake and Izzy, tell me uh, about photography. Izzy, what, what sort of things do you learn about? What do you get to do? How hands-on is it? Um, it's very, very practical, straight from the get-go. Um, sort of at the beginning of the year, you'll learn loads of different techniques, um, sort of ways you can use the camera, diff photographing different things in different lights and we do lots of like macro photography and we shoot in the dark with some like cool lighting effects. Um, so it's really cool. You get to explore loads of different things. Um, then around Christmas time, you'll start your personal project where you get to specialize in anything that you want. You don't have to, there's not like a set course that you have to follow and things you have to look at. You can look at anything you want. So I'm looking at fashion photography, but some of my friends are doing still life or landscapes or literally anything. I'm on mute, sorry. Uh, fantastic, thank you, Izzy. Orlando, product design, how hands-on is that? Is that another practical course? Uh, well, it's, it's like 50% practical and 50% like exam um, and um, uh, coursework. Um, product design is really interesting as you, you kind of have to design products uh, for the real world. So so like you can design it, anything from a water bottle to a house, um, anything that has to do with the real world. And in product design, um, as of now, um, after the corona um, restrictions uh, uh, got taken off, um, we are finally able to use the, um, the workshop and design stuff. And for the past about a month, we have been designing um, stuff uh, made out of wood. But after this, in year 13, uh, you can design a, a product of your choice and you can create it uh, to be like a real thing. Fab. So if you really enjoy design technology right now or you're interested in engineering, that sort of side of things, that is a great course to do with product design. Being an architect. Uh, sorry, what was that? Or even being an architect. Oh, an architect, yeah, architect, or even like your art side of things and product design is about creating and making things. Um, Jake, you do media as well as film. How is film different? Um, so I'd say with film, it's a lot more actually looking at films. So uh, with the course, it's quite, you've got sort of 50% uh, of written and like analysing films. And then you've got about 50% of making films and exploring sort of making um, experimental films um, in lessons. Um, I think the difference being is again obviously with the difference of we're analysing the film and techniques um, and sort of showing off how um, what makes a sort of classical film and sort of like the new wave films that we also study. So what sort of films have you been watching and analysing in class? Um, so we've done as of now I think about three. Uh, we've done Pan's Labyrinth We've done, um, uh, oh God, um, 
you looked at Shaun of the Dead? I think we've got Shaun of the Dead on, on there. We've got that one coming. Uh, we've not done that one yet. Um, we've done, yeah, Pan's Labyrinth. We've done... Um, Experimental film. Yes. Like, um, also, yeah. And yeah. I think we've got uh, La La Land coming next year as well that you're going to be looking at, which is cool. Good stuff. About digital media then, let's bring Ella in. So all of you do digital media, but Ella's going to talk about it today. What sort of things do you learn in digital media and, and why did you choose it? So I didn't take media for GCSE, but I was really interested in studying and learning about like the sound. And this is what we're currently doing at the moment is studying sound. So how sound elements like enhance like the whole media platform. So um, it's, it's quite like cool like based so you can work individually but you also get a chance to work with groups especially when you're learning about say for instance like at the moment we're studying foley which is like the creation of sound during like the post-production of it so um you get to work in groups and you get to like create your own ideas and get like a brief and yeah so you get to explore your own ideas and finalise it and create something out of it. Fantastic. Um, Orlando, what sort of practical work have you made so far in product design? So, so far we are experimenting with a workshop with, uh, we are learning actually every, to use every tool in the workshop. And um, as of right now, we are working on a, on a, on a simple toy that kind of uses everything, every tool and every machinery in a workshop. And we, we have made this um, wooden, I, I say like a wooden string bird toy, let's say, it, it kind of it looks like that. And it's, um, it's really interesting working because I've never worked in a workshop or like never used, not even like step foot in a workshop before. So learning all of those skills is um, a really like, like good thing. And um, as of next year, uh, we, can, we can choose, as I said, our own like designs to do. And you can do anything. It's not just like wood and that's it. You can do anything from wood to plastics to even like, even if you're like into jewelry, you can create jewelry or like anything you want. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Um, and sort of media sort of is kind of a bit like product design. In the second year, you get to choose your specialism and work on that and develop that. So Izzy, what sort of things have you enjoyed making so far in media and in photography? Um, well, in media, we've just finished our advertising campaign, which was really good fun. Um, so I filmed a TV advert, which was really great. I got to get all my friends together and we're dancing up and down the corridors, filming that, which was good fun. Um, so we had that as my final product. Um, and in photography, so I'm sort of doing fashion photography. So I've created my own magazine, and um, the exam we did last week. So that's been, it's been really good fun. Fabulous. Jake, for you, what is your favorite subject out of the three? Cause you've chosen very practical subjects. Um, I think for me personally, it would be film. And why would you um, say film? It's sort of something I've, uh, Oh, sorry, I missed that, it, it, cut, it cut off. Um, it's, yeah, I'd say it's probably film because it's something I've always enjoyed. Um, I've always enjoyed sort of making films and doing little things at home or just with friends as well. So it's quite a good um, collaborative um, subject. Fab. And if you are a film fanatic, it's definitely one to go for. It is 70% um, exam, but as long as you are interested in sort of writing about films or watching films, analysing films, that's the route that you might want to take. Um, product design, again, uh, as we said, 50% exam, 50% coursework. Um, so lots of hands-on stuff. Photography, even the exam is practical. You're making stuff around the clock. Um, and digital media is what we call a BTEC subject. So it's a Cambridge Technical. It's broken down by units. There are two exams. One of them is very practical. Um, and the others are exploring and, and making different things. Um, how would you describe your subject that you're specialising in today? What, what would be the one word that you would describe it, guys? Let's finish off on that. So we'll start with Ella. How would you describe media? I would describe media as exciting. Oh, bless you. I'll pay you later. Uh, Orlando? I'll describe it as fun. 
it's just it's it's really fun and even the coursework you might think oh it's just boring but it's not like the half of the coursework is literally working in the shop and and uh, just working on your skills and designing the thing it's not just like typing on a computer fantastic so, yeah fun and 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 hands-on jake film um, i would say uh, quite fascinating Fascinating, lovely word. So you find lots of details out. I know Miss Smiley's got some fantastic facts up her sleeve. And photography, Izzy? Um, I say like exciting because you can explore anything you want to, everything you're interested in in photography, you're allowed to look into that. Fabulous. So if you are interested in any of these subjects, do get on the website, have a look on the prospectus. There are new videos going up on the QR codes, the prospectus um, by the end of the month. So you can have a little look at those and lots of things for you to enjoy. Do get stuck in, do find out a bit more information. And I'm sure these students will happily answer any questions that you might have if they see you around college and school as well. Thank you to Izzy, Jake, Orlando and Ella for answering our questions. And I look forward to seeing some of you year 10s at our open evening. Thanks, guys. Bye.